election season is coming up. Filing for office will be the next uh, few weeks, I think, November 2nd, 7th. Uh, I'll, of course, be filing run again for our Senate District 20. I want to thank each and every one of you for all your support and what you've done. I love my job. I love what I'm doing. I just want to give you a typical uh, day of what, what, what it's like. And today is a uh, good example. But I started off this morning reading the 15 or 20 emails, 30 emails I get every morning, most of them from news outlets, trying to keep up with the local news. Uh, then I met with other legislators for breakfast about 7.30. Uh, Mr. Cody Highland comes to breakfast quite a bit. Cody is one of our Supreme Court justices appointed by the governor, and he was there this morning. We talked about local uh, court issues. Folks, the court's going to be a big deal. We have a number of people running for the uh, Supreme Court this year. Later on, after filing, We'll have another event right here, and we're going to ask our Supreme Court Justice candidates to show up here and just do a town hall and let them talk. Uh, if you can come and I come. But there are not many times we, normal people, get to ask Supreme Court justices questions. Uh, this will be our opportunity, and I know every one of them wants to get elected, so they will likely be here when we do that. We met for about an hour. Uh, uh, I then met with a group called the Arkansas uh, Research Alliance. I've never heard of them before, but their whole goal is to help our universities uh, be more engaged in research. Right now, Arkansas State ranks about four. The money flows at three. So we've got to up our game in what we do in research. Uh, I had a great conversation with them for about 45 minutes. Of course, one of the things we talked about needing research is about the fire fires, uh, burning fields, uh, talk about research, new innovative ways to do that. We also talked uh, about several, uh, right now ASU is involved in research with the steel mills. And they're going to be trying to build a new building. Not many people know about this, so don't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> but they're trying to build a new building to up our game in research in the steel engineering fields. Huge deal. Uh, but I'll be meeting with uh, Dr. Shields, the chancellor, this week, talk about what we can do to improve our research standing in the state. That was for about, I guess, an hour or so. Uh, then uh, you know, we had a rules committee meeting. I went to it at 10 o'clock. Uh, then about 11 o'clock, we head home. And on the way home, just so you know what a senator does most of the time, I uh, had a call to help a, uh, one of our constituents with a court case. Uh, not in Judge Fowler's court, uh, but talking about what his court uh, had been delayed three or four times and asked me to help in finding out what needed to happen to get him. They drive to Harrison, Harrisburg, will be sent home, drive to Harrisburg, sent home, drive to Harrisburg, sent home. And uh, what was going on? So I talked to a judge, a couple of judges, one retired, and a couple of judges locally who won't name their names, uh, but they are very helpful in figuring that out. Uh, also made calls about getting an open house for the Supreme Court. Uh, talked to a local physician and a former and Secretary Ward about the burning issues, seeing what we could do there. That's a hot topic, you all know that. The people are <laughs> rightly concerned about that. Uh, we had 4 o'clock we came here to prep. Uh, had several Facebook posts to deal with you. Probably, some of you read the Facebook posts. Uh, dealt with some of those answering questions, sharing information. We have this event tonight, then I'll head back to Little Rock tonight for our meetings in the morning and then back here. That's kind of what a typical day looks like. During the week, you know, we had a higher ed uh, committee meeting. I'm the chair of higher ed. We talked about DEI in higher ed, and we had folks that did a ton of research. Uh, we had a stack of papers this day. We called in six universities from the state of Arkansas and questioned them. Uh, why they have DEI in their uh, curriculum. I, you know, I asked the law, law chancellor what social justice was, because they have social justice throughout their curriculum. So I said, so what is social justice? And he looked at his four other people who were going up there, and you could tell, none of them really wanted to answer that question. And he said, well, I know in, in Southeast Arkansas, they don't have any courts. And so I didn't want to put them on the spot, so I said, thank you very much. But folks, that's not what social justice is about. That's about access. 
the justice. It's not about social justice. Uh, we're going to be calling them back. We called the University of Arkansas a little while up there to talk. And the dean of DEI that they paid, I think it was $80,000 or so, we asked the dean of DEI why they have on their curriculum uh, certain aspects about uh, social justice and social work specifically. So why are you teaching your social work students these specific things? And he said, I don't know. I said, wait a minute, now, you're the dean of DEI for the university, so you don't know what they're teaching, is that correct? Well, I only deal with campus-wide DEI. Okay, so who deals with the DEI at that level? They said, well, the department chair. Said, okay, we'll bring the department chair back in a couple of weeks. They can testify to what your curriculum is. And by the way, they'll be under oath. Uh, they don't uh, talk uh, and accurate, then we'll proceed with legal action on that. Uh, very informative. By the way, Arkansas State was one of the leading universities in not, in use, not, not having DEI. So when we asked the question, do you have statements of oath? Where you have to make an oath to follow these things? No. Do you have classes on DEI? No. Do you have training you do for your staff on DEI? No. Do you have staff training you do for students on DEI? No. So we think the message is getting out there that we're not going to uh, join with those things. Uh, yeah, y'all dealt with the China thing this week. You saw the China owns land in Arkansas. And of course, our governor and attorney general uh, talk about that. I have met with them, posted an interview, a short interview, with our Secretary of Ag, Wes Ward, who's from this area, and with the Attorney General. Uh, met with the governor just briefly. How many of you saw the article I had printed in the Democrat Gazette last week? Did any of you see that? I need to get that out, I guess, better. But we had a, one of the big, Nick, Rex Nelson, y'all heard Rex Nelson? Rex a long time big uh, Republican, and Rex wrote an article. Uh, critical of the governor, and unfortunately he mentioned my name in it, that I was, she had me run wild. Well, first of all, she has no power over me running wild or not. I'll run as wild as I want, regardless of the governor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but he made, made mention of me, so I had a nice long article in the, in the Democrat that pointing out the errors of his article, uh, and I was really proud of it, glad it went out. But you know, when things happen, People need to know that we as senators, we're independent. We're not on the governor's team. We're not on the House team. We're on the Senate team, but we work for you. And I think I've done a, a good job standing up for our citizens. Uh, 